up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 mercedes-benz e350 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because there's several new standard features for the 2022 e-class not only that there's some new paint colors for this one as well and of course it has its traditional elegant styling to go along with all of that so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering wheel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so essentially there will be two different configurations for the 2022 e350 you got the rear wheel drive configuration starting at fifty four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars and then the formatic all-wheel drive starting at fifty seven thousand four hundred and fifty dollars but regardless of configuration that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower at 5800 rpm 273 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic with pedal shifters which you guys know of course we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time is going to differ slightly dependent upon if you go with the rear wheel drive or the all-wheel drive rear wheel drive is going to come in at 6.1 seconds all-wheel drive comes in at six seconds flat so just a very slight difference there mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 31 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 21 city 29 on the highway then for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in our e-class i wanted to mention to you guys drive modes there's a button called dynamic select located just to the left of the touch pad controller that'll give you eco comfort sport and sport plus essentially adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity the engine start stop system and actually the suspension settings as well but ultimately now have you got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and put it in one of the sport driving modes let's find a straightaway and let's put the acceleration and paddle shifters here to the test of the same time i want to see how quickly the paddle shifters react and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 e-class here up to speed all right here we go we are in first let me put in first gear here we go I like the sound whoa quick quick paddle shifters very quick car yeah there's 100 enough of an acceleration to merge you on to any freaking highway that you want to that is incredibly quick acceleration there and the paddle shifters were equally impressive very very quick reaction times when it comes to the paddle shifters it doesn't get a whole heck of a lot better than that as far as acceleration and paddle shifters go but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 12.7 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.8 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes it's a little bit on the softer side if i'm being honest i don't mind it it feels perfectly fine but it is a little bit on the softer side so more on the luxurious side of things i guess you could say but then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent four link front suspension in the back independent five arm multi-link rear suspension lowered adaptive damping suspension also coming standard on the e-class essentially what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections giving you a smoother ride but it's also going to tighten up that suspension during heavy cornering giving you the best of both worlds so i always enjoy a good adaptive suspension system because they are always immediately noticeable the second you start driving a vehicle with one of those equipped so definitely very nice there and i did want to also mention though if you wanted the very ultimate luxurious ride there is an air suspension available for an additional 1900 dollars if you wanted to go that route as well but overall as far as ride quality goes it has been 100 perfectly fine that adaptive suspension is certainly doing a very good job here i will say hagerstown roads are pretty darn smooth but still very 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 smooth ride here in the e-class another thing the first thing actually i immediately noticed when i started driving this one is this is an incredibly serene cabin there isn't a whole lot at all exterior wind noise or even road noise coming into the cabin this is definitely a very luxurious cabin and not only that there is an acoustic comfort package it goes for eleven hundred dollars that also contributes to that that gives you a laminated front windshield and laminated front door glass as well so that is very nice as far as steering feel goes it's a little bit on the looser side if i'm being quite honest even in that sport plus driving mode it still tends to lean a little bit on the looser side of things but this is actually more of a luxury vehicle than a race car so maybe i'm being a little too critical but wouldn't have minded if mercedes 
kind of firmed up that steering feel, give it a little more of a weight to kind of match that brilliant acceleration and paddle shifters that you got in this thing. So a little bit on the looser side, that's all I'm saying. But the touching of visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. Definitely not going to have any issues there. Rain sensing windshield wipers have actually already come on in my short test drive here today because it's drizzling a little bit. So you do have that coming standard as well. And there is an optional head up display projecting your speed, speed limit and safety features on your windshield that goes for $1,100 if you wanted to go that route as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz E350. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Mercedes-Benz E350 finished in graphite gray metallic. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name and speaking of colors let me go ahead and touch on the new colors for the 2022 e-class real quick nautical blue metallic you have starling blue metallic manufacturer moonlight white and manufacturer starling blue metallic as well so those are the four new colors in case you wanted the uh, latest and most updatest when it comes to that but anyways let's go ahead and start up front of the e-class here led headlights with led daytime running lights of course do come standard automatic feature coming with that that, along with automatic high beams which is a newly standard feature for the 2022 e-class actually essentially what that is is when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim that lighting back to low beams then when the vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you so kind of a very convenient feature there mercedes-benz diamond block front grille of course coming standard on the e-class and you will find some aluminum trim on that lower portion of the front bumper then as well but very nice look very nice design to the headlights so definitely a very elegant looking front end but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one all right so but now since we are around to the side chrome window surrounds do come standard you will also get some chrome accents on the door handles you guys can see that as well taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turret signals and you can actually get mercedes-benz led logo projection lighting off those side mirrors for an additional $275 a night so if you wanted that MB logo on the ground at night that is definitely an option so I did want to mention that as well take a look at the wheel configuration it's going to differ of course 18 inch double five spoke alloys is going to be the standard setup 18 and 19 inch wheel designs are going to be available and there's some 18 inch AMG alloys that are going to come with the AMG packages of course and they do add some black accents then to go along with that as well but very nice looking side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back it's up now since we are around to the back of this one there is a rear spoiler available for an additional $350 you can actually get that in either gloss black or body colored your particular choice you will have some chrome accenting just below the mercedes-benz logo there to tie in with the side and the front of course led taillights are going to come standard for added illumination at night led license plate lighting also coming standard i don't want to leave out that feature because that is pretty cool and you don't always get that as well and just below it all you will find integrated dual exhaust exhaust outlets with chrome tips so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around to the back of the E-Class, when it comes to open that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob, there is also a button on the driver's side door, and a button on the trunk itself, but it is a power trunk that does come standard on the E350, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 13.1 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There is some cargo lighting back there. There's a little bit of netted storage to the sides. There's actually a cargo box that goes for an additional $300. We do have that today, so I wanted to show it to you guys, and that's going to be found kind of on the top part of that cargo area, which was pretty cool. If you lift up underneath the cargo floor, you're actually then going to find a decent amount of in-floor storage back there then as well. But then... Make our way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 36.2 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Rear passengers can find rear ventilation. There is a 
rear center armrest with cup holders as well. There are two phone charging ports and you can get two rear USB charging ports for an additional $50 if you wanted to go that route. Heated rear seats go for $580 and there will be an optional rear window sunshade that is going to go for $440 if you wanted to go that route. But then make our way to the front seats. Power adjustable front seats will come standard. Memory settings also coming standard for up to three different drivers and passengers. Yes, I said that right. There's actually memory settings for the passenger seat then as well, which is pretty cool. Heated front seats do come standard. Ventilated front seats go for an additional $450. But as far as seat comfort goes, they were plenty adjustable. Power lumbar is included. So definitely not going to have any issues when it comes to seat comfort in the E-Class. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrap that will come standard. Wood leather combination steering wheel goes for $600. Otherwise, you're just going to get your traditional leather wrap steering wheel like we have here today. And you can get a heated steering wheel for an additional $200. $150 then if you wanted to go that route but then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key essentially all of your buttons are located on one side of the key you got your mercedes-benz logo front and center lock is going to be up top unlock is going to be just below that and then you got the button to pop the power rear trunk as well but essentially it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the center air vents there and so once started up gauge cluster is completely digital it is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and it is completely customizable as well and so it's going to of course give you your tachometer speedometer digital speedometer if you wanted that outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty but my very favorite part there is actually a theme section at the bottom of the infotainment screen where you can adjust the different loadouts essentially for the digital gauge cluster so there's so many different looks i shouldn't say so many i think there's four different looks that you can go with changing up the colors the display and all of that so it definitely gives you the opportunity to really make the vehicle your own so i'm a huge fan of the customization and the digital gauge cluster overall so then making our way to overall interior quality there is a panorama roof that is optional we have that that goes for one thousand dollars home link controls can be found just underneath of the frameless rear view mirror that does come standard for up to three different garage doors by the way dual zone climate control also coming standard you will find 64 colors of ambient lighting also coming standard standard and Mercedes-Benz always does their ambient lighting extremely well so I'm a huge fan of that you will find illuminated door sills if you wanted to spring an extra $350 there ashwood trim does come standard big fan of that wireless phone charger then is going to be a $200 option there as well but overall interior quality is absolutely brilliant just in front of the touchpad controller you can find a 12 volt power outlet there's a phone charging port a little bit of rubberized storage dual cup holders and then the center armrest two more phone charging ports and a little bit of storage within that as well but very high quality finishes like i said the ash wood the soft touch material even the texturized finish just around the touchpad controller and buttons here and the contrast stitching found in the doors as well so it's finished essentially like a mercedes-benz should be finished but now now, let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. Of course, it is going to be a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display to match the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. There's a couple different ways you can control what is on this display. Of course, like I said, it is touchscreen, but you do have a touchpad controller and buttons directly behind the cup holders. And it is voice activated actually as well by simply saying, hey, Mercedes, and then it is going to do essentially whatever you want it to do. So that's pretty cool too. But anyways, Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, play factory navigation system also coming standard you can check out your climate control information up there as well and of course like i said if you swipe up just at the very bottom of the screen you have your different theme settings as well which completely changes the look of the vehicle you could choose between trip experience efficiency lounge and standard kind of giving you a completely different look it does things like adjust the ambient lighting adjust the gauge cluster readout and a bunch of other things as well so that is pretty cool I'm always a huge fan of that but also of course you could check out your radio information up there and so when it comes to the sound systems the standard sound system is going to be eight speakers however there is a premium package that we do have here today that goes for twenty four hundred dollars that is going to give you a bunch of things including a burmester surround sound system so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one sound system is brilliant without a doubt definitely more than enough clarity plenty of bass on this thing so 
Definitely a very nice sound system without a doubt for the E-Class. But anyways, last thing I wanna to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the E-Class in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And if you go with that premium package, like I was mentioning just a second ago, you also get a surround view monitor, giving you that bird's eye view, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by saying the 2022 Mercedes-Benz E350 is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. That pretty much does it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard to driver's knee airbag as well. There is an optional rear seat side impact airbags that goes for $700 if you wanted to go that route. Also, since we're in the back, latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Active brake assist, attention assist, cross wind assist, blind spot assist, adaptive braking technology, and a parking damage detector as well, which is pretty cool. If somebody like hits your door or something, that's that's pretty nice. But then I did want to also mention there's the driver assistance package that goes for $1,950 that gives you adaptive cruise control, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, active blind Blind spot assist, lane change assist, active lane change assist with cross traffic function, congestion, emergency braking, speed limit assist, and route based speed adaptation as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new E-Class, elegant styling, great ride quality, great interior quality, brilliant ambient lighting. I always say Mercedes-Benz does ambient lighting better than anybody else. The only room for improvement, quite honestly, I can think of in this thing is it does tend to get quite pricey because there are so many different options available for the E-Class as well as really any Mercedes for that matter. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, I was definitely impressed. Let me know what you guys think of the new E-Class in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.